Lord, you know I don't wanna write this But it's all I can think about As soon as I picked up my pen This is what the ink started bleeding out Woke up this morning, timeline hella thick Folks like biz, did you hear about Connecticut? At the elementary school, no I didn't So I turned the news on, what I saw made me hella sick Dude ran up in the school with his tools drawn Clips flying, 26th line on the school floor 20 of them kids, homie, picture that Parents gotta live with the fact they won't get them back Shot like 50, but they ain't get to rap When you're 6 or 7 and you done 8, 9, homie, it's a rap Seeing what we become got me finna snap Heaven's home, this hell hole's just where I'm at So many good things that I see here Got me feeling like I don't wanna be here But I know it's a reason I'm still breathing And the Lord's keeping me here when I know, I know, I know, I know that there's a better way Understand, I won't always understand Lord. As long as you are God and I am just a man yes. Who am I to say we should move God's hand? Huh? And who is man that have to approve God's plan? They like, where is your God? I'm like, I don't know When you kick them out of your schools, where'd you tell them to go? You know, huh? we forget about the Lord when the plane flying yeah. But how fast we remember when that plane died yes. Sick of this place I'm in We killed 3,500 chilling a day and remain silent Maybe it's late timing If he would've called Caught him in 05 with different tools, we would've stayed quiet Maybe he misunderstood, maybe he thought what he was doing was all good Maybe what he heard was school, and kill him in the room When you really said it's cool to kill him in the womb So many good things that I see you Got me feeling like I don't wanna be here But I know it's the reason I'm still breathing And the Lord's keeping me here Evil has visited this community. President Obama, in an emotional statement from the White House, spoke more as a parent than a politician, and he quoted the Bible to bring comfort to the nation. Churches were filled in Newtown, Connecticut last night as candlelight vigils were held to grieve for the 27 innocent people killed and the countless lives of those shattered by a few seconds of crazed carnage. On Friday, Neil Cavuto asked me, where was God? And I said that for 50 years, we've systematically attempted to have God removed from our schools, our public activities, but then at the moment we have a calamity, we wonder where he was. Well, the predictable left lit up the airwaves and blogosphere with a violent, vicious reaction and jumped to the conclusion that I said that if we had prayer in school, the shooting wouldn't have happened. Well, I said nothing of the sort. It's far more than just taking prayer or Bible reading out of the schools. It's the fact that people sue a city so we aren't confronted with a major scene or a Christmas carol. And lawsuits are filed to remove a cross that's a memorial to fallen soldiers. Churches and Christian-owned businesses are told to surrender their values under the edict of government orders to provide tax-funded abortion pills. We carefully and intentionally stop saying things are sinful, and we call them disorders. Sometimes we even say they're normal. And to get to where that we have to abandon bedrock moral truths, then we're asked, well, where was God? And I respond that as I see it, we've escorted him right out of our culture, and we've marched him off the public square, and then we express our surprise that a culture without him actually reflects what it's become. As soon as the tragedy unfolded, I think God did show up. He showed up in the lives of teachers who put their lives between a gunman and their students. He showed up in policemen who rushed into the school, not knowing if they would be met with a barrage of bullets. He showed up in the form of hugs and tears for children, parents, and teachers who had lived through the slaughter. He showed up at the overflow church services where people lit candles and prayed. And he showed up at the White House where the president invoked his name and quoted from his book. And in a few days or weeks, we'll probably ask God to excuse himself from view, and we will announce in our arrogant pride that we're now enlightened and educated, and we've evolved beyond needing him. And somebody's going to suggest that we pass a law to stop all this kind of thing. I might want to point out that we don't have to pass a new law. 
There's one that's been around a while that works if we teach it and observe it. Thou shalt not kill. Well, there are about nine others, but to tell you about them would require bringing God back, and we know how unacceptable that might be.